Okay, so The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent is directed by Tom Gormican, starring Nicolas Cage as himself, Pedro Pascal, Tiffany Garish, Sharon Horgan, and Neil Patrick Harris. So this movie um, follows um, Nicolas Cage as himself, uh, a fictionalised version of himself, kind of like the way Jerry Seinfeld is in the show Seinfeld. And he is basically um, kind of on a career high, but at the same time he feels like he wants to quit. He's also going through like this midlife crisis. But he is um, contacted to go to, I think it's... Um, Croatia, I think, not Italy, but um, it looks like Italy, and he meets um, a character played by Pedro Pascal, who's a massive fan of Nicolas Cage, and wants to like show his script to him, and Nicolas Cage reads the script and really likes it, and they kind of um, develop this sort of friendship, and they try and kind of find the, the inspiration to make a movie together. Now, a lot of crazy stuff happens in this movie. I mean, over, overall, it's basically just like an entire piss take of all the previous tropes of Nicolas Cage and it's like his, his mannerisms, the way he acts, just how over the top and ridiculous he loves to be. And the great thing about this movie is that the movie gives Nick Cage the freedom just to be himself and just like let loose and, you know, be very free and easy, kind of just let loose with like his, um, his acting style. I haven't seen that many Nicolas Cage movies. I have seen uh, National Treasure movies and Knowing, which was a while back, but I've never seen movies like Face Off or his earlier work or, or The Wicker Man, though I, I do know the iconic, no, not the bees, not the bees, ah, <laughs> scene. I mean, that always gets a laugh out of me, even though I haven't actually seen the movie. I, did, or, um, I, did, I do find this funny, as I said before, of just how laid back everything is. It, it's really a breath of fresh air to see a movie like this in the current landscape of films. I mean, most of the movies coming out today are Marvel's DC superhero movies or like thrillers with Liam Neeson in them and some odd balls coming out like, um, let's see, I mean, the Bob's Burgers movie is coming out in about a month. so. I'm kind of excited for that. I've never actually seen the show. I've only seen like the first episode, but it looks fun. It looks like a, a nice, funny animated movie. But back to this movie, it is very self-aware of just how meta the writing is. I mean, this is a spoiler, I guess, but um, the, um, the script that Nicolas Cage and Pedro Pascal work on is ultimately the script for this actual movie that exists. And it's very meta. But it's kind of in, in like a good way, not like the way um, The Matrix Resurrections was, which felt like it was kind of a bit too meta for its own boots. It felt like it was a bit too extravagant for what it was trying to be and it kind of felt a bit flat. Well, in this movie, it, it really works. And it's also really funny. I mean, it is hilariously funny, like to the point where there's been people, when I was in the cinema, there was people behind me who cracked up hysterically for a few seconds at a time. Just some of the jokes were really good and they landed really hard and will probably land for e even harder for diehard Nicolas Cage fans much more than what I ever um, could because I'm not really that into, into Nick Cage, but I really did enjoy him in this movie. It's also very well shot, the location of Croatia. It's very exquisitely shot. It's very well directed. A lot of very clear, open shots. No shaky cam. It's very, um, very direct and very, um, very practical and just like simply showing the shot. It's very clean, cleanly edited. Um, there's a bit of action in it too. There's not much action, but the action is there and it is um, presented very well and is very enjoyable to watch. Overall, it's basically, this movie in a word is basically a romp. It, it is the definition of a comedy romp with uh, Nicolas Cage and Pedro Pascal which I haven't really seen a movie done in this, in this style or kind of comedy style since like Thor Ragnarok, which kind of felt similar in its comedy tone, how it wasn't taking itself too seriously. You were just sat down and you just leave your brain at the door and just enjoy the fun. I mean, even Thor Ragnarok was a pretty big departure from the rest of the MCU films when you really think about it. 
it was really wacky and this movie was really wacky too in its own way. I highly recommend that you go see this movie even if you're a fan of Nicolas Cage or not. It was very enjoyable. Very big fresh of fresh of fresh air, fresh breath of fresh air. Um, smartly written, very funny. It wasn't perfect, um, but it was kind of a very original movie that we needed. Just a self-aware piss taker. It did feel like Nicolas Cage's ego was being stroked a bit too many times in this movie, like showing them he's a big, successful actor and he has loads of money and heaps of fans. But I mean, that's just the tone of the, of the movie. I'm not sure if he's like that in real life. I'm pretty sure it's pretty laid back, but. So obviously had a really fun time making this movie and everyone on board had a fun time making this movie. Um, the supporting cast were very well um, um, it, um, integrated as well. It was just a lot of fun and for that I give it an 8 out of 10. Um, well, I also like this. I like how they do this through the uh, movie. Kind of felt like it was like Kung Fu Karate but it's just it's just one of the niches of this film that is, kind of works. So yeah, that's my uh, opinion and review of the unbearable weight of massive talent. It is a really fun movie. I, I definitely recommend this one. And as always, take care.